excited. It's our pleasure. Uh, you, you, before the camera's on, you said that you've never been, you've never done a glory hole video before. I have not. Okay. Uh, I've been in for six years officially today, and I today's remember. your official, uh, the anniversary. Porn anniversary. Yes. Anniversary. Yes. Wow. Well, congratulations. Very excited to be. Uh, so this is kind of an exciting day, actually. Even more exciting. Ah, neat. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, what was your your first day, your first shoot ever? What did you do? And I know we don't talk about this normally, but it was a photo shoot actually. So you just got naked. And I just yeah. Did you was, show your hoo during that shoot? Um, yes, I did. I remember getting completely naked because I was outside in like the pool area. Yeah. So I remember it being hot and I was sweating and we not really know what I was doing. Was it, was it solo? It was solo. Yeah, I was surprisingly not as nervous as you you would normally be but I uh, I went to like another shoot the next day and it was POV and they kind of like explained what it was but not really mm -hmm. so I kind of understood even before ever doing like scenes and stuff I kind of understood like okay the girl comes in first she you know gets her like hair and makeup done and pictures and a little like BTS interviews, that, whatnot, and then the guy comes in. Well, we had done everything, and I was just kind of like, where's the male talent? He's like, oh, it's me. I'm like, oh! He's like, there's one person. Like, I didn't, I had no idea that POV meant point of view. Like, oh. that person's point of view. I was like, oh, okay. Luckily, I was like, we'd gotten to get to know each other, and I was like, I was so happy. Okay, and so it wasn't was awesome. like, you, at least it was sexy that way. It was, you had yeah. a good experience. Yeah. Otherwise, you probably wouldn't still be here. Yeah. But you've never <laughs> been. We've we've shot before. We've shot you with other girls, mm -hmm. but never in this kind of. So this is exciting. We're, this is we're, very we're exciting. So you. I like uh, doing new things. <laughs> new, new stuff. New stuff. So you've never. So you've never given a guy a blowjob anonymously. You've never given a guy a blowjob that you didn't see his face. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> does, that, does that turn you on? Do you think about it that? It does. Like, okay. It does actually. That's what, that's what most of the most of the girls say. They like that. The fact that they don't know it, and think about it, guys would love it too. That's why we, that's why we love it. Yeah. Because you don't, you don't have to talk. You get it done. You get your happy, and you're, you know, the guy walks away and he's good, and he's at the hug, and you get what you want. You just use them, and they mm -hmm. leave. You don't have to talk to them. I love it. So I'm excited. <laughs> um, when is the first time you actually give a guy a blowjob? Hmm. You know. I actually, the only incident, like, incident I really remember was, I mean, I, I, I sucked, I remember sucking, like, here and there, kind of, like, 13, 14, but it wasn't until, like, the ninth grade I had kind of, like, I'd moved, I moved around a lot, so, like, I was just kind of, like, getting into the cliques, and, like, I wanted to get in with this group of girls, and I didn't really get in because I ended up fucking this girl's, like, Boyfriend. Wait, boyfriend? <laughs> so, <laughs> That's a um, that they were on a break though, but I remember being in his room and like sucking his cock and just like looking at him, just like, just remembering like, ha ha ha, like this is my cock now, like. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's a good story. I, um, yeah, no, I actually remember sucking a lot of cock growing up. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, this guy was, this guy was a memorable one. This, what, what it it was more one? memorable than than okay. most. Yeah. When was the first time you actually swallowed a guy's gum? That, then, oh, that, yeah, that that's when I was like, this is most like memorable. Just like, yeah, I want it all. Like, give it to me. Like, I was always a swallower though. Always. Like, I never, I never wanted to make a mess, because like usually it would be like, okay, we're like, in the basement, like while the parents are gone. You know, we can't make a mess or like we'd had to clean it up and it would take longer and so and the, like just... sometimes we'd have to scurry and like clean up while like the parents are in the driveway, like they're home. Like yeah. Did <laughs> you ever have a guy miss and give you an accidental facial? Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Um I don't really know how I felt about it then. I honestly I just I just took it. <laughs> I just like I was like, okay, it got on my face, so what? When did you discover your like your sexuality? <laughs> become sexual. Mm. When, first time you had, when did you uh, have an orgasm for the first time? Make it simple. Well, I did it to myself. Th I work. did it when I was probably about 11 or 12. Oh. My mom was um, 
a uh what do you call it sales rep or whatever for a sex toy company and she was <laughs> like or I don't know what you necessarily call it. Like she would have host like a, parties. Like a product tester? Yes. Yes. So like she would. Like but dildos. Exactly. I know what you're about. So yeah. She would do that. And um, she had this big box like that came in the mail one day. And I just kind of like opened it without her like, you know, like. Well, I went and asked her. And I was like, Mom, what is all this? She's just like, oh, well, I'm, I'm selling these, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm like, well, little did you know that in my head, yeah, it was everything. Dildos. You knew what they were or not? Toy. Like, I, well, I didn't know what they were, but I was like, okay, I understood like what sex toys were, but I didn't know what they all were, like what they did and stuff. So like when she went home or to work one day, I was home alone and I opened up the box and I just went for it. And like, I remember first thing I pulled out was a DVD and I popped it in and it was like a really hot girl like getting her pussy eaten by another girl and it was like a whole DVD and I just kind of like kind of went through it and just kind of like oh that's hot that hot oh I like that and then I was like oh she was using that on her pussy oh I wonder what that feels like so I was like okay I'm gonna use it. so the first thing I ever used was the little bullet it's a little tiny silver it's like a bullet thing yeah. it's just tiny little vibrator and oh my god, it felt so good. And then I used like a rabbit or something, or I used some kind of like dildo and I put it in. So then I put the bullet on. Mind you, this is like my first time ever doing this. I'm just like, I mean, you doing this on top of that. And it just, oh my god, I was watching the porno too. And then I did that, you know, with like kind of like clean them up and put them back. My mom had no idea. Oh, shit. So she would, of course, put some in her like own drawer or whatever. And yeah. Then eventually those were the ones I used. So yeah, I, I used my mom's sex toys. I don't know if that's <laughs> weird or gross or hmm. what. But eventually I realized, okay, I'm not, I don't like using all these different toys. I found the Hitachi. Because it was like a bigger, stronger, better version of the bullet. And I was like, <laughs> If you started this stuff, at that age, I mean, what do you do now? Like, fuck a Ferrari or something? I mean, how do you keep up <laughs> fuck with a Ferrari? Right? No, Sibian. Yeah. Oh, Sibian. <laughs> really? That's what it takes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's got a little machine and. <laughs> but can can you have an orgasm with just sex? I can. Yeah, okay, yeah. Cool. Of course, I can. Like, sometimes you, I, you know, all those machines are gonna they potentially Some, might fuck us up a little. Well, I need clit st stimulation. Okay. Mainly that's what I need. I need either you just kind of go like this, yeah. but unfortunately, like sometimes, like I, because that that makes me want to come more. Like it like, just gets me water. Yeah. So it makes the cock go in and out faster and harder and better. So that's why I, usually I just gag myself. I learned that I just I get my own spit, make it lube, and okay, good. I don't have to worry about anything. <laughs> You know what I like best about this interview? Is that the real time? Yeah, that too was off. Okay. Yeah, we sure. haven't said shit. You've just done all the talking. I'm, you're great. awesome. Yeah. You are absolutely a pleasure. Thank you. All right, tell us I'm more dirty I'm a big stories. talker. What else you got? <laughs> what's, what's, what turns you on? What are you, what's, your, like, what's your kink right now? What's your fantasy? What do you think about when you have your private you masturbate? Oh, goodness. Well, considering I just used my Hitachi last night, like three times after not using it for like a week. I honestly kept thinking about this. All the different cocks in my mouth. <laughs> oh my, you're fucking amazing. We love you. It's been a couple, it's been at least a year or two, but I usually only have one or two, maybe three cocks at oh, most. Okay. So this is so, very So this exciting. is gonna be a satisfying day. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so when you go out, when you want some dick, do you go out like to a bar, a restaurant, do some social gathering, or do you use like those apps? I would rather do it in person and like at a like not necessarily bar. I feel like that's kind of like too cliche. It is. Coffee and shop, apps store. are cliche too. Um, but I suppose that 
the apps back in the day the reason why I'm kind of here. I mean, I, I met someone way back in the day on the high school version of dating the apps. Really? And I was really into him as a person, but I don't know what, I don't know, maybe he just wasn't like muscly enough or something. But when I saw him again two years later, he's like this black dude all buffed out and like stud. I'm just like, woo. And uh, his friend ended up being downstairs and like they invited me to this baseball, softball party or whatever they had just won. And then I went over to their, their house and I partied with them. And I just kind of like, I don't know why this was my signature move, but I would like get on the floor and do the splits and then just like shake my ass. Mm. And then, yeah, so I was like telling him about the move and he's like, show me. So like I ended up showing him. He's like, you should do that on on this website, blah, blah, blah. Like I wanna watch you do that all the time. And I'm like, okay. Do you still have the ability to do this? Yeah. No shit. I think so. Do we have two? I've done it. 